the clicks. Uh, I'll try to um, show you many pictures, uh, not many words. Um, maybe it will be, I don't know, interesting. Uh, the idea is to represent uh, what does Scalina and this um, anniversary mean uh, for us, for us to be. Um, almost everybody in Belarus know that um, what, what is Scalina, who is Mr. Scalina? Um, it's, uh, it's the person, maybe, uh, maybe it, will, it, it is the most uh, important, the most known historic uh, person uh, at all in uh, Belarusian history. Uh, I want to uh, say some words about, first of all, who is Mr. Skarino, why do we remember about him, why do we um, planning to, to do something after uh, 500 years of uh, his activity, um, why do we publish in different books and planning different events. Um, then, of course, I'll uh, try to uh, say some words about what's what, it, what is already done, um, and the last part is about our plans. Um, of course, uh, Francis Carina is uh, something unique. Uh, it's a person uh, which um, unites uh, different spheres of uh, activities. Um, he was great Belarusian figure, not only Belarusian, of the age of Renaissance. Of course, um, the personality of Francis Carini is extremely versatile, and at the same time, um, he's, um, he's very, very modern, and uh, we can use this figure for um, in state building uh, nowadays. Um, Skarina is known as a philosopher, is, as an um, interpreter, as a publisher and uh, even typographer. Uh, he is known as a, a physicist, uh, he is known as a, um, secretary and, um, and a political figure. Um, Moreover, Francis Carina is uh, known as uh, one of the um, one of uh, founders of uh, botanical garden in Prague, and so on. Um, but as for us, the most, import the, the most important part of his activity is book printing, of, uh, of course. Um, many Belarusian and foreign scientists. Uh, played a major role in glorification of his achievements. Um, his life and heritage um, interested uh, different scientists and uh, there are about three or four thousand uh, scientific, non-scientific and even uh, pseudo-scientific works about Francis Carina. Um, most of them are well known all over the Belarus. Uh, at the same time, um, the first book printer himself became a hero of a large number of literary works. Uh, Maxim Bogdanovich, Petrus Broka, uh, Vladimir Karatkevich, Kondrat Krapiva, Maxim Tank, uh, Maxim Garetsky. Alek Loika and many, many, many others um, created different poems, novels, drama works about Francis Carina. Um, many works of many famous people of art uh, were dedicated to Francis Carina. Uh, some, some maybe pictures. Uh, Jezeb Drazdovic. Here are the works of 20th and 40th. Um, Giacomo Forno, uh, 1942. Um, the work, known work of the um, family of Varezza. Um, very interesting work of Ivan Akhremchik. Uh, sometimes um, 
this work is used nowadays uh, in association with the other person, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, it, it's um, we can even hear about a new uh, incarnation, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, uh, uh, of course, uh, there are um, many very uh, famous uh, artists uh, who worked with uh, this um, with this idea, with the idea of um, understanding and um, uh, and describing in art what is Francis Carina for us. What does he mean? What um, what he created? Uh, there are uh, about 300 works in uh, the sphere of painting. Uh, there are more than uh, 500 graphic works, uh, in reviews, first of all, uh, in different techniques um, of different epochs, uh, in different styles. Um, for example, Arlen Kashkurevich. Mikhail Basalyga, Vladimir Krukovsky, Pavel Tatarnikov, and many, many, many others. Uh, the techniques are absolutely different. Of course, there are many monuments and sculptures uh, all over the Belarus, and some of them are abroad. Uh, for example, there are uh, about um, seven sculptures in Minsk. Uh, there is well-known sculpture in Polotsk, the third one uh, in Lida, the second in Kaliningrad, in Vilnius, in and other cities. Uh, at the same time, of course, uh, one of uh, these monuments is uh, situated next uh, to, uh, to the National Library of Belarus. Uh, such sculptures were created during uh, the last century. Telling the truth, um, 100 years ago, nobody of Belarusians, almost nobody, uh, could uh, say something about uh, Francis Karina. Um, first publications in Belarusian about him were prepared uh, in 19, uh, in 1909. Uh, in, the, uh, in the beginning of the uh, 20th century, uh, it was in the uh, uh, National Niva newspaper, and of course, uh, during last century, um, we, uh, we've managed to open this person uh, in absolutely new um, understanding. Uh, there are many works in the sphere of cinema or, or theatre, and it's very important that Skarina is alive in our um, cultural um, area. Uh, for example, in Polotsk you can see uh, Avenue, street and uh, square named after Francis Skarina. Uh, there are many, many, really many streets all over the Belarus. Uh, for example, in Sharkovshina we can see uh, about five streets, or maybe it's the, the same street, um, named after Francisco Karina. Skorina, Skarina, uh, Francisk, Georgi, uh, just Skorina. Um, the city is about um, 20,000 of uh, population, and the, the, the street is about um, 12 uh, houses, but we can see yeah, but this person is very variable. Um, uh, this, uh, uh, the same uh, street is uh, situated in uh, Vilnius, um, and it's absolutely correct situation because Skarina printed books in Vilna. Uh, there are many big ball, uh, uh, billboards all, uh, in Minsk, in uh, some other cities, uh, which uh, sometimes are very interesting. Uh, of course, we know many libraries named after Francis Scarina, and of course, the Belarusian Library and Museum uh, here in London is well known. Uh, some museum uh, uh, exhibitions uh, and even museums are dedicated to his activity. 
Um, there are many uh, scientific and other uh, institutions, public institutions, um, which use the um, the name or the science of Francis Scarina. Um, there are such institutions in Belarus and abroad, in Moscow, in London, other cities. Uh, there are some publishers and typographies uh, named after Francis Scarina, uh, even in bookshops, uh, for example, in Polsk, we can see uh, this, uh, this name. Um, I think uh, nobody knows that there is a train uh, named after Francis Scarina. It goes from Warsaw to the border of Belarus. Uh, um, there are many initiatives in uh, the bank sphere, in the financial sphere. Uh, I know about mm, 20 calendars of uh, different Belarusian banks. Uh, which uh, were devoted to the, the personality of Francis Scarina. Um, I uh, decided to open a, a new, uh, to, to, to start cooperation with one of the banks uh, in order to, uh, to get uh, this bank uh, card uh, with, the, with the signature um, printer's mark of Francis Scarina. Uh, there were many lotteries and other initiatives uh, which were connected with the personality of Francis Scarina. Of course, we have uh, some uh, schools and gymnasiums um, in Belarus which are uh, named after Francis Scarina. For example, in Minsk and Polotsk. Uh, here is Polotsk gymnasium. There are many books and other publications for uh, school boys and school girls. Mm, there is a university uh, named after Francis Karina in, in Gomel, not in Polotsk. Uh, and it's very important that uh, the state awards uh, named after Francis Karina, it's uh, the order and the medal of Francis Karina, uh, uh, existed. Uh, it's, it means that it's a sign of um, our um, national identity. Uh, there are many other state awards uh, connected with the personality of Francis Carina. Uh, different diplomas and other awards of different times. Um, we have a couple of uh, festivals and uh, celebrations, annual celebrations, uh, which um, created to commemorate this uh, person. First of all, I mean uh, the day of Belarusian writings. Um, for example, 500, well, 500, 50 years ago uh, was uh, one of uh, such celebrations in Polotsk. Here is the meeting on the central square. Uh, nowadays, uh, the uh, monument of Francis Green is situated in this place. Uh, there are many absolutely different uh, marks of our time which uh, helps us to uh, understand how important this person is for our um, uh, everyday life. Uh, for example, stamps. Just a small sheet of paper uh, which costs almost nothing. but. You can see here one of the first, maybe almost the first, Belarusian stamp published by uh, Belarusian Public Republic, Belarusian uh, Republic. We can see the stamp of uh, Belarusian immigration, uh, the stamp of uh, 1972, uh, which was published in New York. We can see the stamp of uh, USSR of uh, 1988. We can see some of many Belarusian state stamps of uh, modern time, of the period of uh, the Republic of Belarus. Uh, so we can see absolutely different um, um, epochs. We can see absolutely different uh, political uh, powers. We can see uh, people with different uh, religious uh, and other positions. 
but all of them were uh, connected with Belarus and associated uh, themselves with Belarus. And for all, for all of them, uh, the uh, personality of Francis Karina was very important. Uh, maybe one of the most important. Uh, and there are too many such examples. For example, I've got uh, a collection of maybe a hundred of such um, coins and some other small collections. Um, nowadays there are um, some art objects in the uh, cultural area uh, in Belarus. Um, they are uh, getting more and more um, interesting. Uh, there are uh, new ideas in the sphere of, for example, uh, clothing, František Skarina, konkrétny major, um, učil si něj polovskou a zaměřuj. Uh, or other, um, we can see, uh, for example, uh, very interesting jokes uh, which are connected with uh, Francis Skarina. Malá podarožná knížka, small travels book, uh, no book of course. Um, Skarina is uh, with Apple uh, sitting there. Um, or Chidiwa. Uh, many many other jokes. Uh, all of them very. Uh, all of them are very um, nice. Uh, they are positive. Uh, they are uh, not criticizing um, the personality of Francis Karina. Um, for example, the postcard for this New Year. Yeah, many others. Some of them shocking. A little bit. <laughs> but anyway, they are very nice. Uh, there are many uh, discussions in uh, this jokey form. For example, uh, this one. It was very popular in Facebook a couple of months ago. Uh, but uh, if we are... Um, if uh, we should ask ourselves uh, what should we do uh, nowadays while preparing and already celebrating the anniversary of book printing? Of course, we should uh, we should mention that um, we should use this anniversary for um, developing Belarusian culture, for uh, developing uh, national identity, uh, for for developing, you know. um, first of all, we should uh, continue uh, scientific researches. Uh, telling the truth, uh, there are too many uh, questions in the biography of this personality which are not um, decided. Um, I mean, for example, uh, as, I, as I've already uh, told you, uh, for example, there are. Uh, about three or four thousand of publications, but we still do not know when did when was Karina born, when was he died, uh, where it has happened. Um, we do not know um, uh, when uh, he was baptized. Uh, and what is uh, what was the confession of, of uh, um, this church? Um, we uh, still have too much questions about uh, his biography, even biography. Um, for example, there are some uh, cities, uh, the map of Europe, um, the, the yellow stars marks uh, the cities where uh, Skorina was exactly, and the red stars, it's just a um, proposal, uh, just um, proposals and ideas. Uh, even uh, nowadays, I've just uh, prepared some slides uh, for, for, for our, for our dis discussion, the question of language. Um, maybe uh, the, uh, the most easy question uh, which we can decide uh, very fast, because we have books. Uh, we have documents. 
um, and we uh, see the, the discussion about uh, even uh, what uh, was the language of Francisco Rina books. Uh, it, was it uh, the Church Slavonic or Old Belarusian language or any other language? Uh, for example, uh, just two or three days ago, uh, on the website of um, of 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 oh, uh, of the uh, Belarusian Evangelic Church. Um, was uh, publicated a new article about uh, the 500 years of the Russian Bible and uh, the translation of Francis Carina. And uh, here we can see in, on the right uh, side the uh, citation uh, of Francis Carina, the text, uh, in almost Belarusian language. We can see these words. Uh, but, uh, but the words... Uh, but Skrina didn't draw them, absolutely. Uh, these words were published uh, by Skrina in uh, absolutely other form. Uh, first of all, uh, it was not a uh, united text. Uh, these were fragments of uh, different uh, parts of Skrina's books. Uh, for the first time. And the second one, you can see uh, this was publicated on the website, like Skrina's text, in Belarusian, absolutely. Жил Господь, и благословен Бог, и вознесется. We can see uh, uh, the phonetical um, Belarusian uh, of, of the text of Francis Skrina. Uh, at the same time, the real uh, text printed in the books of Francis Carina. Uh, if you will check or compare these two texts, you will understand that this text is printed in Church Slavonic language. For example, here, uh, text by uh, the website, for example, Moscow Potriac, the same text as in uh, the books of Francis Carina. Um, almost every books, every, every letter is the same. Um, the same text was in Belarusian manuscripts of 15th century, uh, 17th century, and so on. Um, of course, the language of his uh, four words was the other language. Uh, that's right, absolutely. But the text of Bible translation, it is mm, not exactly Belarusian or old Belarusian language, of course. Um, that's why, for example, as for me, it's very difficult to, to say about uh, 500 years of Belarusian Bible. Because Belarusian Bible, if we can uh, speak about Bible, uh, the territory of Belarus uh, has 1,000 years history uh, from Turov Gospels or from... Uh, other manuscripts uh, which are known. Uh, at the same time, if we are talking about printed Bible, so we should say 500 years of printed Bible or 500 years of uh, Skarina's Bible, but not Belarusian Bible. Uh, the manuscripts with, uh, on the same language uh, as uh, was used by Francis Skarina um, were spread in the territory of Belarus before Skarina's activities. For example, uh, we can see, uh, we can talk about um, Vilnius and Suprasil Codex, uh, known as Distaglau and others. Um, there are some examples. Um, the second thing, oh, where is the map? Okay. Um, the second thing which we can, or we should do, uh, is to, um, uh, to work with the heritage of Francis Carina. Telling the truth, we still do not know exactly about all the books of Francis Carina. Where are they uh, situated and how many, uh, how many of them are? Um, for example, um, we've just started a new um, research and uh, nowadays it's known about um, 520 uh, exemplars uh, of Francis Carina books all over the world. In Belarus, in Russia, in uh, Lithuania, in Ukraine, Poland, 
Slovenia, uh, Germany, Great Britain, of course, uh, United States, and other countries. Uh, most of them are in Russia, of course. Um, but we should, um, we should know about every exemplar. We should describe them. Um, and it's very important. For example, I, I will show some examples from Germany, from Russia. Uh, it's from Russian State Library, from Ukraine. It's from uh, Lviv. Uh, from Czech Republic, it's uh, the National Library collection, and other. Uh, the next direction for work is, uh, the, is the idea of uh, book heritage return. Uh, of course, it's impossible, absolutely impossible, to, uh, to buy, for example, books uh, which are kept in state collections of uh, foreign countries. Um, but there are books um, and screeners books in private collections. For example, during the last uh, three years we've got a um, very intensive and hard discussion with some, um, with some very, um, very rich uh, Businessmen, uh, businessmen from Belarus and uh, other countries, who uh, hold it for these uh, books, and uh, just a couple of months ago, uh, with the help of one of uh, banks, uh, the uh, book called "Malaya Podorozhnaya Knishka" or uh, the "Small Travels Book" uh, was bought was bought and now it's, uh, it is um, situated in the National Library of Belarus and would be, I hope, um, um, presented for, uh, for, for um, not only in Belarus. Uh, of course, we can organize uh, different temporary museum exhibitions uh, and the practice is a very um, is well known uh, not only in Belarus. Uh, it's a little bit difficult as for libraries to organize such exhibitions, but it's possible. For example, uh, five, five years ago, uh, we've organized uh, such an exhibition of 11 uh, books of Francis Corina from Germany in National Library of Belarus and in Nesvish. It was very important, and uh, nowadays we are planning to organize a uh, very huge and a very important exhibition um, of uh, Francisco Rina books from different countries, of um, first printed books uh, of different European countries to, um, to show the epoch of Scarina's activities, to show um, who was printed books uh, before Scarina and who was after. Um, we, we have already um, made um, some decisions and of course uh, I, can, I can absolutely uh, I'm absolutely sure that um, we would be able to show uh, many books of Francisco Rina uh, the original of uh, Gutenberg Bible and some other uh, very important European publications of um, many European countries uh, in this exhibition it would open uh, it would be opened uh, in, uh, this, uh, in the middle of September uh, this year. Um, there were other exhibitions, for example, in Polotsk. Uh, just two days ago, uh, the Vilnius book of here started, and the central part of the uh, Belarusian stand was devoted to Francis Corina. We can see the information about the exhibition in London 50 years ago. Um, very important uh, direction of uh, our work is digitization or digitizing uh, Skarina's books and books of uh, other Belarusian printers. Uh, nowadays we've got more than 200 uh, full text copies of uh, Skarina's exemplars from uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, 
Czech Republic, Great Britain, uh, from Germany, and some other countries. Uh, if we are talking about uh, Great Britain, uh, the um, Cambridge University Library and uh, Trinity, uh, in the Library of Trinity College in Cambridge um, prepared such uh, digital copies and uh, it's possible to, to see them just uh, in, uh, in the National Library of Belarus and uh, during the next um, a couple of months we, can, uh, we will present them uh, through internet. Uh, nowadays, we are preparing a special collection uh, inside of our um, digital library or electronic library. Um, and during next oh, during next um, two months, uh, the special website with digital library, which would be uh, devoted to Francisco Rin and his heritage, uh, would be presented. There are many uh, electronic publications which were prepared on the basis of um, such digital copies. Uh, there are many of such publications which were prepared by the National Library of or uh, other organizations, but it's not very um, modern way of activity as for today. And of course, we, are, um, we work nowadays with internet projects. Uh, and at the same time, we are trying to work with the facsimile reproduction of the most important um, books as for our culture. Most of them are abroad, and it's a problem for uh, even for scientists. Uh, in, this, in that way, we have uh, reproduced uh, Slutsk Gospel of 16th century or Polar's Gospel of 12th century. Um, some of Belarusian chronicles, for example, uh, Berkolabov Chronicle, uh, some literary works uh, or the church uh, publications, uh, for example, the first uh, publication of uh, Simon of Polotsk. Um, and of course, the heritage of Francisco Rina was a um, very important and a very difficult project. Um, as for us, it was very difficult to decide uh, to go in this direction because, of course, we know that uh, um, uh, Prague uh, publications of Francis Carina were reproduced um, in uh, the beginning of 90th, uh, and now we are almost finished the project of facsimile reproduction of all the books of Francis Carina. Prague and Vilna uh, publications. All these books uh, would be uh, presented uh, not only in Belarus but abroad. Uh, of course, uh, they were they will be presented in uh, the libraries where the heritage of uh, Francisco Rina uh, kept. Uh, for example, such presentations uh, have already um, done uh, in. 30 countries. Uh, for example, in Romania, during during uh, just in December of uh, nine, of uh, 2016, uh, there were 10 presentations in 10 countries. Uh, of course, in Google should be some presentations. Um, the, one of the most important uh, direction of our activity is uh, uh, preparing new uh, scientific and non-scientific publications um, devoted to Francisco Rina and uh, Belarusian book printing. Uh, for example, books for, uh, for youth, uh, for example, publications for uh, publication of uh, different novels or, or poems uh, devoted to Francis Corina. Uh, publications, of course, should be made in different languages, uh, of course, in uh, Belarusian, Russian, English, Chinese, Japanese, uh, maybe. Um, it's very important, and uh, it's very uh, important that many of our colleagues uh, are already working in this direction. For example, this book was uh, published it's interesting uh, with the financial support of uh, the 
uh, of, of the um, Belarus Russia country um, United uh, Union, state. Union State, yeah, Union State of Belarus and Russia. Um, and of course, maybe uh, I think you know the, this publication, The Economist. Um, there are many publications uh, of, uh, the represent of different representatives of Belarusian diaspora, and the screen is um, uh, presented in different languages. For example, the book uh, Francesco Rina uh, in um, 64 languages um, was presented in many countries. Uh, there are some uh, projects uh, which um, reproduce different um, a period of Skarina's activities. For example, uh, just uh, two days ago, this book was presented in Vilnius, and of course it's very important. Uh, there are many publications on uh, the, uh, devoted to uh, regional book uh, printing history. Uh, there are many um, publications uh, well illustrated, and I've got some of them uh, today. Uh, finishing my word, I should say that uh, nowadays we've got um, a Republican program of um, celebrating uh, the anniversary. Uh, there are absolutely different uh, ideas for, uh, for such um, for such celebration in the sphere of musical culture or theatre. Uh, for example, some of uh, these dramas are already in Belarusian theatres. Um, different uh, Christian de denominations uh, have some initiatives in this sphere. Um, of course, we should work with the children. It's my son. Uh, here is my wife and children. Uh, there are many ideas for uh, children which are uh, already very popular in Belarus. Uh, there are many public events uh, on different topics. Just a couple of days ago there was a meeting on Polotsk period of activity of Francisco Rina, and such public projects are very interesting. Um, many competitions, uh, for example, of drama uh, works or um, novels, uh, poems are uh, already um, presented or planned. Um, art projects, plain air, for example, uh, rather original exhibitions uh, was in National Library, uh, which were presenting uh, Skarina's um, existence in our nowadays culture. Uh, and uh, telling the truth, th uh, of course, such uh, scientific uh, meetings as we have today are very important too. Uh, for example, just uh, maybe uh, two, uh, two weeks ago we've got a um, uh, scientific discussion about you know, Belarusian uh, book heritage in British collections in uh, the National Library of Belarus and Igor Ivanov uh, from London participated. Uh, today we have new discussion uh, and I want you to, uh, to, to introduce you uh, to participate in other, uh, in other scientific uh, meetings. Uh, and first of all, in the International Congress devoted to the uh, 500 years of Belarusian book printed. Belarusian book printed. So thank you very much. Uh, there are too many of projects. I just want to. Uh, to give some books to the Borussian uh, Library and Museum named after Francesca Rino, which were published uh, during the last two months, and I hope it would be very important as for the library which is named after Francesca Rino. So thank you.